One thing that would make your job easier. Friday's off. <laughs> there's there's a whole more, there's a whole movement out there. <laughs> I'm sitting here today with Joe Coltis, Regional Manager with Remax Results. Um, Joe, you are, you've been with Remax 25 years and you became a Regional Manager of ours about four years ago now? Four years ago. Yeah? yeah. Why, yeah. Did, why did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. No. Um, I'm kidding. We'll come to that. I want to okay. actually circle back and get a little bit of backstory. Uh, where'd you grow up? Um, I was... Born and raised in Brooklyn Center. Okay. So local kid, um, large Catholic family. Yeah. I have four older sisters. I was the baby of the family, obviously. Okay. Anybody that knows me knows that, that I'm a little bit of a card. Um, yeah. So we a uh, big family. Uh, church every Sunday. Uh, if we weren't at church, you had to be dead. Okay. That was that was, that was the end of that. So. Interesting. Um, and how did you? Um, Where'd you go to high school, college? Uh, went to Catholic grade school growing up, and mm -hmm. then went to Park Center High School. Mm -hmm. Graduated in 85 from there. Okay. And then went on to Mankato State University. Graduated with a triple major in finance and economics and labor relations. Wow. And I was going to be a stockbroker. Wow. But I took a turn to real estate. Did you try out? Were no. You, were, oh, you weren't a, okay. No. Why, no, the, why I, the change? I, I don't know. I just I uh, I answered an ad uh, from Edina Realty, okay. one of our competitors. Okay. Um, and uh, went and interviewed, and they said, "Hey, we'd love to have you." And I came home. And I said, "Hey, Dad, I got a job." He goes, "Wow, this is great." <laughs> and he said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm selling houses." Well, what are they paying you? <laughs> I said, "They pay me when I when they when sell I a house." house. <laughs> yeah. He goes, "You you what?" <laughs> <laughs> and the look on his yeah. face after he paid for my five years of college was, he was mortified. Mortified, right. yeah. And he said, you got six more months and then you got to figure it out. So I'm like, I'm going to do it. Let's but it's do stuck. It. It's stuck. Yeah. Okay. So the first uh, several months were like everybody, you know, just trying to find your way. Mm -hmm. And I was in a big bullpen with eight other new agents there. And, Which Edina Realty office? Uh, Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Boulevard. Okay. Yeah. Which is ultimately where I met our general manager, Mike. Mm -hmm. Mike Vanderheide. Mike Vanderheide, yeah. Okay. And so I finally made it out of the bullpen and uh, made my way, and yeah. And how'd you find yourself over at Remax? Uh, about five years into uh, Edina Realty, a couple of the guys there, they said, hey, we just bought a Remax franchise down the road. Mm -hmm. We're moving down the road. I said, all right, sounds good. Okay. Remax was kind of newish at that time. This is 1995. Okay. So didn't really hear a lot about Remax at that time. And I just said, let's, let's go, let's try something different. So. And I know that you were also a team leader. You were running a team for a while? Uh, yeah. A small, a small yeah. Team? So part of my yeah. business, I started in 1990. I started <clears throat> a team probably 2012. Okay. Um, and I had, grew it up to about seven agents on mm -hmm. the team. And uh, we had a great time. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but a lot of team leaders don't know how to lead their team members. I could lead a few mm -hmm. uh, naturally, but leading a large group seemed to hurt my business. Mm -hmm. And so I was spending more time on their business than my business. I see that and happening. I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I see it in my daily travels too. So, okay. So, um, Five of them went away. I was left with two that were fantastic. Then one moved to Arizona, one moved to Hawaii, and it was just me. And, <laughs> and, and uh, I was good with that. Yeah. I was, I was just good with that. Yeah. How did you then end up um, at Remax Results as a regional manager? You were, you were licensed with us. You saw yeah. Yeah. probably an internal, internal job posting and thought, why not? Uh, actually, I was, driving, I was walking through Cub Foods with my wife. We were grocery shopping. And she said, I, I saw the email that said Mike Spicer, who formerly had my job, yeah. said he was retiring or moved on to Florida. Florida. Yeah. I said, hey, maybe I should be a regional manager guy. And my wife laughed. She said, yeah, you'd have to like get up in the morning and actually go to work, <laughs> put your pants on, shower. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound like it's for me at all. That's absolutely not my, because I've had a great life. I've had Great career, mm -hmm. enjoyed my freedom and and all the things that real estate you know has to give you. Mm -hmm. 
And then um, I think later on that day, my phone rang and I saw the name and it was ultimately now my boss, Mike Vanderheiden. Okay. And there would have been no reason for Mike and I to talk like on a daily basis at all. Yeah. So I see that call and I just went, oh, no. And I just knew at that moment that that's my a life, sign. <laughs> my life was probably going to change, possibly. I didn't mm-hmm. know what the call was all about. And he said, Jojo, let's have coffee. Mm-hmm. I said, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not going to talk me I've into this. I've been yeah. anti-corporate, and I was so proud that I walked out of college. Yeah. And I've had no bosses, made it on my own mm-hmm. for so many years, and that was awesome. Um, but Mike was convincing enough, and... We sat down, we talked, he talked a little bit about it, and he said, well, I want you to meet Brenda and John. Mm -hmm. I said, well, for sure, let's go. So there wasn't any kind of formal interview, it was just a a conversation, really, about what this would look like. Yep. And so from that, it took a couple months to to even kind of process what, what this would look like. And about that time in my career, I just wasn't feeling fulfilled selling real estate. So I wasn't being fulfilled in my daily uh, showing homes, selling homes to to individual buyers and sellers. It was still fun, but Mm -hmm. it just wasn't feeding my soul per se. And so then I started looking at it from a different perspective. Maybe this is my calling, this is my next chapter. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have those different chapters in your life. I thought, well, you know, at that time was 51. Mm-hmm. Uh, 55 now. So I thought, well, maybe maybe I have some gifts to share. Yeah. You know, I can do some coaching. I can do some uh, mentoring and things like that. So yeah. as we explored. You're very, you're, you're very good at the role. You, um, you have a knack for um, bringing people together. And, um, and uh, our sales executives gravitate towards you, you know, and um, you're supportive. You're definitely a people person. Yeah, and and I think that's just a, that, that probably comes from my father. Mm-hmm. Um, when we were growing up, I remember whenever we went to the grocery store, we could never get out <laughs> because he was always, always talking to everybody. Strangers in the grocery Absolutely. store? Absolutely. He was the mayor of every grocery store. Do you do store. that? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I half-heartedly call myself the mayor of Osseo. I don't, I don't own it. I live in Osseo, my wife and yeah. I. Um, and I call myself the mayor, but I truly am not. But because I'm always out talking, and she can't, we can't go on a bike ride without stopping and, and, and stopping to talk to some people. So uh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. So since you uh, moved into the role of regional manager, um, is it is it what you expected, or share something that's um, that kind of came as a shock? You know, going from someone who is unemployable <laughs> to someone <laughs> Un- unemployable. <laughs> that's what i like to joke <laughs> yeah realtors are unemployable they have to be they're they're entrepreneurs right uh, and go and then becoming yeah. an employee of remax results yeah. um what's something that kind of surprised you that you discovered you know i, I don't know that there was anything surprising the role has kind of morphed mm-hmm. a little bit uh to coaching and 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 mentoring and making sure that our sales executives have what they need in their toolbox. Why don't, yeah, why don't and you... And making sure that they are they know what is available to them. Why don't you um, just describe your what, uh, typical job description? What, as a regional manager, what are you, what are your primary responsibilities? So in the morning, I'll... So we can all hold you accountable. Everyone listening to, <laughs> everyone yeah. listening to yes. the show. <laughs> yes. So, I'm you know, I'm, I'm an early riser. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at my phone at six in the morning. If there's any texts or emails, things like that, you yeah. know, clear that up, clean that up. I'm usually off to the gym. We get out of there and then usually pick one of the offices that I... I usually try to make it to one of the offices every week, week and a half, mm-hmm. something like that. And you oversee... Obviously, the closer several offices... Several of our offices. Yeah, yeah, eight of them. And so mm-hmm. the closer ones are easier to get to. Sometimes weather comes in with some of the farther traveled ones. But yeah. uh, so getting up there, just making sure that we're in the office and visible and the sales executives uh, have access to, to me and if they want some coaching or training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And what percent? And you're also responsible, obviously, for recruiting. Recruiting, yeah. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of my day is recruiting and 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 trying to go after characters out there. I, I always, 
I don't necessarily go after numbers, mm -hmm. like big numbers, like like twenty million dollar producer. That mm -hmm. the, that's not important to me. We need character, mm -hmm. and I think our organization is unique in that we don't recruit like like some of the other companies. They want volume. Mm -hmm. They want as many people on their roster as possible. Okay. So whenever I'm meeting somebody, it's always more. I want them to understand that I'm not really. A recruiter. Mm -hmm. I'm a regional manager first, and I want to see if I can take their career from being three million to six million, mm -hmm. or five million to ten million, or whatever that looks like for them. Try to improve their career yeah. through my experience and our ecosystem that we have at Remax, yeah. with all the education and training and marketing and IT and that kind of stuff. So, what's one thing that you find when you're out there talking to realtors at other companies? Um, that they're um, uh, maybe a common misperception about Remax results or something that they're always surprised to learn about that they didn't know. We've, we've had this in the business uh, tag of being called Femax. Cause oh. I think back in the day we were all full of fees. That doesn't exist anymore. I mean, there's obviously we're we're in business to to mm -hmm. to, to make money. It's a for-profit business. Yeah. But when they realize what they're paying in their fees compared to what we have, a big to difference offer, in economics, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's net net in fees, what we have to offer to boost their business, yeah, and support their business, yep. is dramatically different most times than the other companies. What's a success story that you can share with someone that you... One of, one of my favorites is uh, our Rookie of the Year a couple of years ago, John Soto. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, He's been on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. of course. Sounds Hi, fun. John. Uh, <laughs> so a couple years ago, I, I talked to him and talked to him, and he was at Berkshire Hathaway mm -hmm. up in Monticello. I said, John, I said, I know I can take your business from here to here. Mm -hmm. And he just, uh, you know, it took a year and a half, maybe two years. Mm -hmm. And then finally he said, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So he moved into our St. Cloud office and he went from zero to 100, like, Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. He took advantage of some of our systems. And and we made him and, our rising star. Yeah, he was our rising star. Yeah, yeah. not rookie there. Yeah, rising star. Yeah. Yeah, a, a couple of years ago. So, yeah, he's. Uh, and he's just done fantastic since then. Yeah. So, um, and yeah. you've got uh, quite a few success stories. That's, that's obviously. They're, they're just all, one of them. you know, they're all really not surprised, but they all fit into our system mm -hmm. well. It's because their character, mm -hmm. um, not some, some of the flashier people that I've met with out there that not flashier, but, uh, selling the 20 million or 30 million or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. They seem to have a little bit of an edge to them versus some of the people that really need the help that are selling 3 million or 5 million or like that. They really truly want to increase their business. Yeah. And so I want them to lean into me and take advantage of what I have, my war stories from my 32 years. Yep. And so if they can lean into me and then lean into what we have at Remax, yep. it's a it's a great marriage. You, um, you, you provide coaching, business planning, every once in a while you, you're leading like maybe a Buffini group. Yeah. You do yep. coffee club with different groups. Yep. Um, and uh, for, you know, sales executives listening to this episode right now, that maybe want in on any of that. Yeah, so I've it's I've, open to anyone I've, at I've any office. I developed actually my own my own coaching program, mm -hmm. uh, Grow with Joe. Okay. And and marketing our great marketing team, mm -hmm. uh, Courtney Stout and her team. Yeah. Uh, helped me develop this. Okay. And so when somebody wants to get uh, some information on how to grow their business, um, then I break out my coaching and kind of lay that out. My coaching through the years has always been methodical the success to my business over the years although not as successful as many many of our, our sales, sales executives, executives there yeah. you know they shroud me but or shadow me so um, i've actually got my own uh, coaching program mm -hmm. called grow with joe which our fantastic marketing team uh put together mm -hmm. Courtney stout yep and uh and her team uh did a fantastic job with that so so that's offered to anybody that i 
MRI, anybody in the company really that wants to, you know, uh, hear about it, I'm, I'm there for you. Yeah. Um, I have a coffee group that gets together the third Tuesday of every month. Mm -hmm. um, and that usually we get about 15 people mm -hmm. involved in that. And we just sit and meet at a different coffee house and, yeah. and do that. Uh, I've coached Buffini classes uh, over the last three years, four years. And that's kind and of an ongoing thing. That's right? kind of ongoing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we usually offer those in the fall. Mm -hmm. And then we usually offer them, you know, sometime uh, in the early winter, uh, sure. something like that. So, okay. yeah, but even part of that, if we don't offer a class, I am a trainer for Buffini. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to sit down and learn about his strategies, yeah. which is really kind of where my business plan, my own personal business plan yeah. uh, for my business has come from. And I've always been very methodical and um, that has brought me success. I can't have my business, I couldn't have my business just wondering what I was going to do. I have it laid out January, February, March, April mm -hmm. per quarter and how many touches and that kind of thing. What's your opinion of, um, you know, some people can sit down and just do like a one day business plan. Um, and maybe, um, maybe those are individuals that have been in the business for a while and they just need to refresh their business plan. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it depends on where they're at in their career, but uh, uh, just a one day powwow business plan and then let them run um, versus those that need that ongoing, maybe that accountability. Is there? I, you know, I, I'm you, always, you you I'm always a long term. Yeah. You know, my business always, I've always coached and trained, and my own business was October 1st. Okay. The start of the first, the, 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 there's too many people that start the first of the year, January 1st. Yeah. The start of the real estate year you really, need to start. really should be October 1st. Yes. And if you see the, success, the successful agents out there, mm -hmm. they are planning already October 1st mm -hmm. is the start of their year. They're planting their seeds, mm -hmm. and that goes uh, with all that into January mm -hmm. uh, and February, March. If you start January 1st, yeah. That's almost too late. Yeah. I mean, it's never too late to start. So call me if you, you know, need some help, uh, some some business planning or whatnot. But but I always, my business, I looked at it starting October first. Yeah. And then my whiteboard on my on my wall was always I had January, February, March, mm -hmm. so I could see each month. And, and that's what I coach and train, get a big whiteboard. We are all visual people. Mm -hmm. Look and see what your January looks like. What do I have coming up in February? What do I need to do for marketing? And, and some of those systems are passive prospecting, we call it, mm -hmm. and some are active prospecting. So the passive prospecting would include like an email program or a postcard program. Okay. Some of the more intentional, the active prospecting is picking up the money maker. You know, picking up the picking up the phone. Yep. Yeah. Uh, picking up the phone, writing out note cards, doing some pop buys, and have an ath actual strategy for that. Okay. Not just say, "Well, I'm going to drop off something at these people's house." Okay. So, I always try to help people bring their plan together and make sure that yeah. they know what they're doing each month, each quarter, and okay. and keep track of the cost involved with each of those those activities that they're doing. Okay. And a lot of those activities are in our system, in our ecosystem, and some of them are there that they don't even know about. Right. And so if they don't know about them, you know, reach out to me. Yeah. Or any one of our regional managers. Yeah. Or, yeah. There's, um, yeah, you, you, you team well. We have about six regional managers, seven, yeah. six, seven, um, throughout the, the two states. And I know you guys all work as a great team together. What's one thing that you, um, one thing that would make your job easier. Friday's off. <laughs> there's there's a whole there's a whole movement out there. I think I said I think I sent that to you. <laughs> you always say it's Jeans Friday, right? Yes, that's, yes. Or that's when yes. well, I'm on PTO. Then it's yes, Jeans. Yes, I do like it when the when the bosses are gone. Yes, Jeans <laughs> Jeans Jeans Friday. No, I, uh, the, who's I, your favorite? I love, I love my I love who, my Josh. Who's your favorite, John or Brenda? John or Brenda? <laughs> um, John always asks. Long. Actually, you know, a true, a true story about that is <laughs> I, I really, you know, so so the background with Mike Vanderheiden and mm -hmm. I, uh, Mike is technically my boss. Mike's your favorite. There it is. The, uh, well, yeah. but Mike has been with me. He was my manager at Dyna Realty yeah. circa 1990. Yeah. So he's been, and then he came to Remax and he was our office manager at Remax, yeah. a broker. And so I've been with Mike even before that. We were at, in grade school. 
we all, we all went to the same church, mm -hmm. the same grade school. Mm -hmm. So there was a cultus in every grade, mm -hmm. and there was a Vanderheiden for sure in every hmm. grade because I think they had eight or ten people in there, mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. Yeah. So I've known him for a long time. So coming into this job, and I've told people I I am anti corporate. If it wasn't for you and John and Mike, mm -hmm. I would not do this job. <laughs> um, I, I really wouldn't because it it's you guys give me the freedom to let me be me and do my job. Mm -hmm. And 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 uh, I think that enables me to be more creative and be yep. more uh, uh, successful, I think. Yeah. Let's switch gears just a little bit. Um, talk about your kids. And you just bought a house in Florida, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's first talk about your kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. so I've been married to my beautiful Gina. wife, Gina, for 28 years. Yes. Um, and we've had, we were lucky enough just to have one son, Cooper. Yep. Cooper is 22 yep. and just graduated from college. And he also uh, went to Mankato also State. Also went to Mankato, yeah, following dad's footsteps. Not <laughs> sure why, but he uh, followed my footsteps. And yeah, so he's, oddly enough, he's a recruiter for the Holiday Circle K gas stations. Okay. So he works at corporate now. He's okay. worked through their, through college and they wanted to bring him on as recruiter for the store level. Okay. So he recruits managers and assistant managers and he has a territory and Interesting. like that. So yeah. I'd really So love he's him leaning to, to you much. for some advice. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. He's got his own personality. Yeah. yeah. He's 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 got his own thing going and on. And you so. and Gina bought a house um, in Florida a couple of years ago now? Uh last January we bought a house January. just in time for the hurricane. So <laughs> Uh, her, wherever, wherever I buy a house, don't buy one. <laughs> um, it was funny, you know, this, this, this goes back to some of our sales executives and how talented they are. Because my wife and I were looking for a house in Florida mm -hmm. and I lost out on some multiple offers and I just, I'm like, what am I doing? So I, I talked to some of our sales executives. Mm -hmm. I'm like, coach to coach, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, Joe, you gotta try this, 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 all right. So I did that one Sunday morning, I just, I. Popped, it popped up on realtor.com and, and mm -hmm. it went from there. And, mm -hmm. and I, I was on the phone. I said, I said, Gina, I, I think I bought a house. <laughs> what? So, yeah. Yeah. So it kind of awesome. happened. And then uh, it turned it into a nice little Airbnb down there. Yep. And then Hurricane Ian came and hit in September. Are you planning on getting licensed in Florida? I don't know. Keep asking you that question. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you've gone from saying no I would, I would, I would, to I don't know. Right, 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 so. right. right. <laughs> I, I don't have any plans like this minute. I, I mean, there's always, every, I get asked all the time, yeah, there's, are you opening up an out? Is Remat going to come down there? Yeah. And so far, it's no, you know. Okay. We're good where we're at, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that looks like. Okay. So, it's fun to have it. It's a fun place to go. Yeah. I want to circle back on, you mentioned, um, looking for and building upon the character of the company like what do you look for in uh, sales executives at other companies when you're prospecting for them to come join remax results you really never know their character you know we have different metrics and yeah. platforms we look at so i can, I can look at their production mm -hmm. but i never know what their character is until i meet them mm -hmm. and so and when i when i first am talking to them i want to make sure they understand I'm not a pushy recruiter. I'm not that recruiter guy. I am regional manager and I'm here to help you with your business. Mm -hmm. And if I can get them to come and meet with me over a coffee or a lunch or something like that, then it's easy to judge the character and to see if I'm a fit for them, if we're a fit for them, if Remax is a fit for them, and if they're a fit for us. Because mm -hmm. we're not a fit for everybody. If you're working part time, and that's your priority. We don't do that. We're a full-time sales executive company. Yep. We want somebody that is coming in. I want in. I want to learn everything I can, can with you, Joe, and what your business um, can do for us, what our yeah. Remax business can do for them Yeah. instead of their, their current real estate company. I'm very careful not to talk about their real estate company like this is a bad company because there's great companies all over the place. Just different models. Yeah. We just have different. I have friends at Keller Williams. I have friends at Etana Realty. Mm -hmm. I have friends that manage the Colo Bankers. I, you know, I've got friends everywhere out there. We just have a different philosophy. Yeah. You know, and so at the end of the day, um, I just need them to understand what our ecosystem looks like versus what they're in now. Mm -hmm. What I can offer them, what we can offer them as a company, 
all of our management, all of our support in the offices. Um, and then once they realize what we have compared to what they have, you know, they make their own decisions. There's no closing line. There's no, hey, gotcha line. You know, I make them understand. They understand on their own, wow, this is, this is a better way. What's the most common feedback that you get from sales executives that you bring on board after they've joined? Um, it's Good and bad. I mean, are there um, areas where we could improve? Or are we doing really well in one, 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 of my, one of my favorites was Danny Meyer. Danny Meyer uh, came over from Edina Realty. Mm-hmm. And she was with Edina Realty for 38 years. Wow. She bled the big red. Yeah. yeah. And so about a year into it, we were standing by the front desk in Andover where she offices. Yep. I said, Danny, I said, I said, what do you think? You're a year in now? She was the only mistake I made is I didn't do it sooner. I love Remax. Hmm. So that was a great comment. Yeah. I think once they lean into our, our marketing department is second to none. Yep. Um, Courtney and her staff just absolutely blow it out of the water. Yep. We do a deep dive on their social marketing and all their online presence and, and tweak that because you know when, I, when I'm even looking at what a, what a person is doing out there for their business when I'm recruiting, I look them up online and there's no pictures and there's no websites, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. Like they haven't paid any attention to that and our marketing team can change that take them really the, to that next right, level right. yeah and yeah. our it team is just uh they're they're amazing <laughs> they're saints <laughs> yeah one of one of the one of you know one thing that really kind of gets lost <laughs> is our education our training mm -hmm. uh, becky durham and and Kristen have taken our training department mm -hmm. to the next level yeah. past the next level yep and i can't say enough to them so when i'm when i'm out in the field and when i'm having an interview with another agent when i tell them about our marketing our it and our in our training and in our education they come in mm -hmm. and it's all backed up it's not just made up stuff yeah. you know i'm not just saying it to them to get them over yeah it actually happens and so once all these team once they are aligned with all the teams and their business starts to take shape mm -hmm then then it comes to me and then we start coaching and training and mm -hmm. hopefully their business goes from here to yeah you know whatever the next level for them looks like in the time you've been a regional manager we've had some crazy you know highs and lows we've had this pandemic boom and now we've had record high interest rates now things are starting to kind of do you um, i think, I think when i started yeah um we unfortunately had the george floyd tragedy mm -hmm. and then we went into uh, the pandemic came through, yeah. and then you know we've we've we and, and I'm very proud of our company, yeah. the way we've maintained mm -hmm. and we've held our own. We've remained calm. Mm -hmm. We've made, we we have remained very calm and handled things professionally, mm -hmm. um, and, and I think to the betterment of our company and our character really shows. Mm -hmm. You know they always say you know character is when somebody else isn't looking mm -hmm. and all the eyes around the industry are on us all the time because mm -hmm. we are the largest Remax franchise in Minnesota mm -hmm. and you know I mean with that comes a lot of eyeballs yeah and so the way we've handled things through all these different situations I think it's been just fantastic so how do you think 2023 is gonna shape up I, I think we're gonna be good I'm a glad I'm always a glass half full guy um, yeah I, you know, I, I watch a lot of the reports, you know, the inflation reports, yeah. the, they're, they're getting, we're heading check. in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. We're heading in the right direction. You know, nobody's got any crystal balls, but I, but I think it's going to be a softer recession. We're probably in the middle of a recession right now yeah. and don't even really know it because yeah. of all the lagging indicators, but, yeah. but you know, we are it, it, right. Yeah. So it's not going to be as bad as what everybody thinks and what we're going to have to do. And I keep telling everybody, you're going to have to work a little harder. Mm -hmm. The orders aren't going to be there. People aren't going to be calling on the phone. You got to get out there mm -hmm. and you got to pick up the phone. And this is real real estate. Yeah. This is what a real real estate market looks like. Yeah. And so back to the basics, yep. back to some training, some more education, get on the platforms, get on the web, get on some more CE education training when you can get some coaching with the regional managers yep uh takes more class and just and just grind grind a little bit more yep and forget about all the negativity stay in the positive 
And 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 you know, if you can if you just start your day with a positive attitude and going after your business, if you're gonna sit there and just wallow in this business, 2023 is gonna be the worst year ever, it's probably gonna be the worst year ever for you. But if you go from the other tactic and just say, you know what, I might have to grind a little hard, yeah. might have to make a few extra phone calls, more open dust off those open house signs. You know, those haven't been used for a while, so dust those things off and get those out there and, yeah. and get back to work. I'm grateful for you, Jill. What's what's something that you're... Well, I'm grateful for you as well. What's, no, I, I think, hug? you know... <laughs> what's something that you're grateful what, for? What feeds my soul every day, and the reason why I continue to do this job, mm -hmm. is the honor it is to have all the, the people I work with, all the sales executives, their careers, they're not in my hands, but I, I'm trying to help them in their career if they need help mm -hmm. you know i'm here for them and it's such an honor when somebody comes to us from a different company and entrusts their business and their career with me to yeah. steer them in a different direction and try to help them get to that next level there's nothing better than watching people succeed mm -hmm. that are all around me and the people that are just amazing people that i see every day and able to high five and meet with and, and talk to and, and, and our sales executives are just second to none. Absolutely uh, fantastic people. We have a great family here and yeah. uh, and they're yeah. grateful for you as well. Well, I don't. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, but I but I, I really am grateful for them. I mean, we are truly when they say we're a we're a family. Mm -hmm. We are truly. You go into each of our offices. One of my favorite is going up to. Um, uh, Cambridge and the uh, Michelle and Dean team mm -hmm. when I take them out to lunch uh, they're very faith-based as I am mm -hmm. and we join hands and we say a prayer before we have our meal mm -hmm. uh, out at the restaurant and I, I'm just so proud that we have so many examples like that in our in our company that are just amazing amazing people mm -hmm. so uh, yeah it's a great it's a great job it's a great life um, I've been given very uh, a lot of a lot of gifts have been very blessed and one of my blessings is to be able to come and work uh, here every day so thank you yeah, thank you